James, thank you. Now we're going to talk about business, in particular about packaging and the packaging on cigarettes. Uh, Andrew Wood joins us on the line, our business correspondent uh, from Hong Kong. And it's interesting, for a few years now we've had this trend of, I think it began in Australia, didn't it, of uh, um, making the products in, uh, well, n not the usual sparkly, lovely adverts that had the names on and that kind of thing. Um, sort of, uh, some of them have got a bit of a health warning on as well. Uh, do we know yet the stats, what effect that's had on the sales of cigarettes? Well, broadly speaking, um, it seems to be helping the, uh, the a decline in cigarettes, the number of cigarettes sold. The most recent evidence to uh, support this has just been published in the British Medical Journal's Tobacco Control uh, magazine. And researchers at the University of Bath in the UK did a before and after comparison. Um, you say Australia started uh, put the idea of putting uh, cigarettes into basically ugly, boring packages back in 2012. Britain did this, the UK did this in May 2017. So the uh, statisticians at the Tobacco Control Research Group at Bath University just looked at the numbers before and after. And before the, uh, the introduction of this new packaging, cigarette sales were going down by an average of 12 million cigarettes a month after the legislation, after the new ugly packaging and also some extra taxes, this decrease accelerated to 20 million fewer cigarettes smoked mm. a month. And the effects on profits have been uh, considerable too. The, the tobacco industry's net revenue in the UK fell by 13% as a result of this, the implementation of this. So it's affecting the, con the tobacco companies in their pockets as well. Uh, yeah, horrible pictures of disease uh, on the packets in the UK. Is that the way that, that most countries have gone? Yes, a mixture of horrible pictures of disease, uh, no branding like, you know, lettering, uh, you know, trademarks or anything like that. And also the, the widespread use of what's been described as the world's ugliest colour. <laughs> which is a sort of ugly brown colour, depending on who you say. Some people describe it as a sort of dirty olive green. Uh, this was pioneered by the Australians. Apparently, the Australian Olive Association actually didn't like it being called olive green and asked them to change the name. But uh, it's interesting, the marketing agency in Australia, normally they're trying to make packaging as, a, as attractive as possible. This marketing agency looked at, to, spoke to more than a thousand smokers to try to find the ugliest colour possible. <laughs> and uh, if you're into Pantone, it's Pantone 448C. Ah, opaque couche, as it's called. Uh, thank you very much indeed, uh, Andrew Wood. There you are, look it up, have a shock, the ugliest colour you could see. Just do 448C. And you'll see they've got a point. It's pretty ugly. They've got a point. It's pretty ugly. They've got a point.